Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about one of the most useful feature in Power Apps is now you can upload files like Excel, Word document, PDF and images into Power Apps or wherever location you want. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. In my previous video, we discussed about the upload option is missing, how we can add this attachment control from other idea tricks so that we can use it in our this video. If you haven't seen that video, please just click on that link given on the description or on the top of your screen so that you can get clear picture of it. Now here I am in my power apps and now you can see I am now in my main upload form. So here I have used the same attachment control here and I have given this name here the complete card to be attachment forms and inside to that this as an attachment list both of them I have used here and after that I just added an image button here which is you can do it from media and then click on image that's it and other three buttons I have added here just to show binary upload and launch and here is a label which you can add it from here on the left top left menu and this is a plain label. So the reason why I have added all these things we'll discuss about this now. So basically first of all we need to upload uh, an image or PDF or document right. So for that we just want to display what it has uploaded. So let's say for an example we have uploaded an image file. So if we want to see what the image it has uploaded. In that case, what you can do, if you select this image and then on the image property of that image, you need to type here the last open bracket and then attachment list which is inside to this one. Attachment list dot attachment close the bracket dot value. If you do so, then if I run this application now, whatever the image I have attached, <laughs> I'm going to attach here, it's going to show up on the image here. Let's say for an example, if I'm going to attach this, it will add here and you can see it, my image here. And then if I'm going to add one more image, let's say for an example, what I can see here, this one. And here you can see those images also here. So that is the reason I have added here. This will only work if you are using an image file inside to that. But if you're using an Excel or PDF, this will not work. This is just for my reference purpose, I have added that. So this would be cool if you are using an image uh, upload if you are giving an access to the end user so that they can attach an image for your any applications at that time you can use this feature they will easily uh, look into it what they have attached inside to that. Now if you want to upload it into a SharePoint let's say for an example okay so the destination location can be anything because we are anyway converting this image or PDF documents and everything into a binary and then we are uploading it into the destination point. So here in this demo, I am going to convert this into a binary and then upload it into my SharePoint chat drive. So how to convert into binary? So first of all, if I click on this show binary and a button which I added here and inside to that I have added few scripts here, I can say. So let me zoom a bit. First of all, I am setting a variable now. If you can see it on the IntelliSense, it's set. I am declaring a variable which is where attachment control and then we need to pass a value. So here I'm going to uh, use an image converting to binary. So the JSON format, I'm using it here. JSON, I'm going to pass the data and then the format. So data is basically image4, which is what we have seen over there. Image4.image .image, and then I'm converting it into include binary data. So this is a variable which I am setting up here. I am storing all the information here. So now we need to split a few of them inside to that then only we can able to do that. So for that I am declaring one more variable which is where base64 only and then inside to that I am going to use this mid function so that I am extracting from this value where attachment control variable I am going to find the commas and the plus ones find this value start number plus one and everything I'm going to find this one. So I'm going to extract all this information from here. 
So it's just a mid function. Mid, we are going to use the text, which is this one. And after that, the starting number, starting number, I'm just searching for the comma here and then adding a plus one. And also, and the end number, I'm going to add number of character. So I'm taking the whole number of characters using the length statement and minus this value from where we are taking the first comma and then minus one so that we can get all the values whichever we need from here. All right. So we have these two variables where base 64 only and where attachment control. This one we already used here and mostly we are going to use where base 64 only in the other things. So right now we have converted this image into a binary. Now it's the time for us to upload this image into our destination one. So for that, I have added one more button. You can also set it into one, the one single button itself. That's also fine. But for just demo purpose, I am using it only in single file. All right. So now the main thing which you need to do it here is this one. Let me format this. All right. So here, what you need to do here, um, you need to type, not to type. You just need to create a flow. That's the main thing because power automate, Power BI, Power Apps, and Power Virtual Agent all are Power Platform family. So we need to create a Power Automate flow, and then we are going to use that flow here. So how we are going to do that? Let's go to Power Automate. So here is the Power Automate one. So if I click on Create here, and then you need to click on Instant Cloud Flow because that is the one which you are going to use whenever we need. We are going to call this one, so that we call as Instant Cloud Flow. When I click on here, it's asking me for a name and here we have the option of power apps. Let me click on this power app first and then let's give a name here as file uh, upload file to and click on create. Once I do so, then it is asking me for the new step and here if I click on the new step and here I need to add things which is the SharePoint one. If I search for SharePoint here, then it will give me the list of available options which we have in the SharePoint. Here I need to select create file. So if I click on create file, then it is asking me for the site address, folder path, file name and content. So the fold site address is basically the one which we are using it here. Let me copy it from the SharePoint. And if I come back here, let's zoom this. Close this one and I'm adding the site address here. So it's loads here and selecting this address. And we want to add the folder path. So I'm clicking on this one. And here I'm going to use a shared document. It is added here as a shared document. And for the file name, actually, we don't know the file name what it is. So once I click on the file name, here I'm getting a message here, ask in Power Apps. If I click here, then this is the kind of variable which it creates for the Power Apps we need to pass during that time. Okay, and here for the file content, uh, we don't have any kind of this one. So we need to click on see more here and we need to create on ask in power app. So basically we are going to create two variables. One is for the file name and another is for the file content. Okay. So here it's not the file content. Basically we are converting the image into binary, right? So for that the plain passing will not work. So we need to make a little bit of uh, expression here. So what is that? I will just show you here. So what we need to do here, if I double click here, it will not work anything here. Let me cancel this for now. So here we can see the file content and file name, right? So on the expression here, if I click here and paste this one, what I have added here is base 64 to binary and then open bracket, trigger body, open and close. And then here I'm going to pass this one, which is the create file file content, which is this one. So if I add this one and then click on OK, this will add it as a function, I mean like expression and also added a parameter value which we need to pass it in Power Apps. So as soon as we do this one, click on save and then make sure you check this flow checker whether everything is fine. If I click here, yeah, everything is fine here. Now let's go to Power Apps. So here now if you add a button, Let me just add a button now. So click on button. So a button is added here. If I keep this here. Now, the main thing which you need to do it here is basically go to action on the top. 
and here you need to select on power automate for this button by selecting this button you need to do this so clicking on that you will see the available flows which is a power automate flow which we have access which will come up here so here this is the one which we have added now and if i click here it is showing us adding it will take a bit time so now complete flow parameters in formula bar it is showing up here so here i need to pass two things one is a created file name and the other thing is created file content right so first of all i need to pass the file name and then the file content which is the binary data the json data so here i need to use the last which is the last file i'm going to add here if i select this last here and then attachment list which is the one which is inside to the attachment this is small one attachment list dot attachment the attachment which you are adding here and close the bracket dot value this will act as a file name and now here we need to pass the var base 64 only which is the variable which we are declared just few minutes back and close the bracket so once you do so this will act as an upload option so when you select a file then this will upload this file into sharepoint using power automate so now i'm going to use this name as upload to all right now saving this now so run this application let's add a few image i'm selecting this here and then i'm going to click on which one just say for an example this one remote consulting and open here we can see the image here and i'm going to click on upload to this will actually trigger that power automate flow and then it will upload the file into sharepoint now let's go to sharepoint if i click here and click on documents now yeah why it is not there means first of all we need to show the binary which i added here so this is a mistake actually if you are using it everything on a single button then it can be possible so right now i have not generated the binary so far that's why it is not uploaded over there um now i just clicked on the show binary so the data has been generated here now if i click on upload this will go to power automate and then upload this file into sharepoint all right let's go and check it in the sharepoint here is one file added here so here actually instead of value we need to pass the name of the file right so that is the one i missed here and here i need to pass dot name actually we need to pass the file name and then we need to convert this into variable everything is fine now let's close this and if i run again and selecting the everything same show binary is added here and if i click on upload again now let's go to sharepoint refresh this one there you go here you have the remote concern.png if i click here then i'm able to see that image on the sharepoint yes so let's close this one so the mistakes for information what i have done here is i need to do it in a single button and also first of all i need to generate this binary and also during upload it has to be a name not a value that's right so this is how you can able to upload this file not only this uh, excel also you can do that even the word document also you can do that so let's do it now for a pdf document if i close this one and if i attach a new pdf let's see for some pdf files which i have okay let's take this one pl900 this is the pdf and if i click on show binary this value gets changed and if i click on upload to now this is going to upload this one into sharepoint and if you don't want all this kind of stuff then absolutely you can hide all those things um you can just click on show binary and also uh, before going into the sharepoint if i click here if you see the things which are added here you can add everything onto this single 
button itself. If we go to SharePoint now and let's refresh this. Now you can see this PL900 demo dot PDF. That's real and awesome thing. So this is how you can able to add using the attachment control, upload your files into SharePoint or any location we want in Power Apps. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.